Welcome back to Card80s.org. Today we're going to be looking at part three of our series on the problem of induction, specifically the new riddle of induction. In this video we'll be checking out Swinburne's objection to Goodman's new riddle of induction. If you haven't checked out my videos on the problem of induction or the new riddle of induction and you're unfamiliar with these arguments, I would suggest that you do that now. One quick caveat before we get going, this is a basic introduction to the problem of induction. If you want more information, you should check out the problem of induction on the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, or more specifically to this video, GRU by R.G. Swinburne. With that out of the way, let's get started. Now, we were last left with Nelson Goodman's riddle of induction with having a problem between distinguishing between GRU and GREEN. The problem is that the only reason we have to prefer GRU to GREEN is entrenchment. We're really, really used to using GREEN as a predicate, and so we want to use it, but we don't have any really good reason for using it instead of GRU. Swinburne is going to try to give us a good reason. Now, an objection that was leveled against Goodman that he did respond to was the disjunctive objection. Basically, this says that there are disjunctive and non-disjunctive predicates. That's just a complicated way of saying that there is an or involved in the predicate if it's disjunctive. A non-disjunctive predicate is defined as predicates that do not contain a disjunction between two other predicates, such as green or blue in some way. Whereas a disjunctive predicate does contain a disjunction, an or, between two other predicates. Clear examples would be, according to this objection, that green is non-disjunctive, whereas grew is in fact disjunctive. Goodman's response to this was to say that, from the perspective of the Gru and Bleen people, green is in fact disjunctive, because green could be defined as Gru before time t and Bleen after time t. So it's just a matter of perspective. Swinburne's going to attempt to give a more solid reason that Gru should be considered something different from green, something of a different kind. Swenberg's objection goes as follows. He distinguishes instead between qualitative and locational predicates. A qualitative predicate is defined as a predicate that does not depend on time or space, whereas a locational predicate is defined as a predicate that does depend on time or space. The clear examples being green, a predicate that doesn't depend on time or space, whereas gru is a predicate that does in some way depend on time or space, because it seems to have different properties on either side of time t. Basically, one does not need knowledge of the time or location to tell if something is green. On the other hand, one does need knowledge of the time or location to tell if something is grew. Around time t, the Guru people would have to look at their watches in order to talk about colors, whereas the people who believe in things like green and blue would not need to. Therefore, Guru is superfluous, and if we can, we should have qualitative predicates instead of locational predicates. So, when faced with two equally possible predicates, we should prefer the qualitative one. Next up, I'm going to offer a response that Goodman could offer to Swinburne's objection. Watch this video and more at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.